quote, I have noticed that so many people like him are all alone and unknown, yet when they spill a little blood, the whole world knows who they are. A man who was known by no one is now known by everyone. His face splashed across every screen, his name across the lips of every person on the planet, all in the course of one day. Seems the more people you kill, the more you're in the limelight, close quote. Those words are from a 2015 blog post of a young man named Chris Harper Mercer, describing a man named Vester Flanagan, who killed a reporter and photographer at a Virginia TV station, on air, days previously, before shooting himself. Harper Mercer went on to shoot nine people to death at his community college in Oregon, before shooting himself. Social scientists have long said of events like mass shootings that they are contagious and that media serve as carriers. Forensic psychologist Park Dietz told The Village Voice in 1999 that suicide, product tampering, and mass murder lent themselves to imitation, and the degree of imitation is connected to sustained and sensationalized media coverage. After the Sandy Hook school murders, sociologist Zeynep Tufeci offered some tentative media guidelines, noting that research finds, quote, establishing a path of action, a complete narrative in which you can visualize your steps and their effects, is important to enabling follow-through, close quote. Tufeci suggested that law enforcement should not release details of the methods and manner of the killings, and those who learn those details should not share them. In other words, no immediate stories about which guns exactly or how much RoboCop gear were used. And she said, quote, The killer should not be profiled extensively, at least not at first. We do not need to know which exact video games they played, what they wore, or what their favorite bands were, close quote. Which leads us, of course, to CNN's slow pans over the arsenal of the man who killed 59 people in Las Vegas October 1st, and the Washington Post headline about how the killer, quote, enjoyed gambling, country music, lived quiet life, close quote. The fact that the paper later changed the headline doesn't change the mindset that produced it, which is that when killers are white, they are first and foremost human beings whose violent acts are out of keeping bizarre. Above all, no reason to look askance at those who happen to share their ethnicity or religion. There is naturally a need for reporting. Among other things, media could explore, as did the nation's George Zornick back in July, how the NRA has gone from a calm advocate for hunters to a primal outlet for hard-right paranoia. NRA head Wayne LaPierre, Zornick notes, quote, understands the gun rights movement as a culture war first and a battle over gun laws second, close quote. At the group's annual meeting, LaPierre declared, quote, it's up to us to speak up against the three most dangerous voices in America, academic elites, political elites, and media elites. These are America's greatest domestic threats, close quote. And, as the historian Zornick cites, Pamela Hogg has pointed out, the country has not always been that gun-happy. In the book The Gunning of America, Hogg writes, quote, The gun culture that exists today in America developed out of an unexceptional, perpetual quest for new and larger markets that had exceptional social consequences. The tragedy of American gun violence emerged from the banality of the American gun business, close quote. Exploring such issues thoughtfully is not as easy as replaying footage of people screaming and running, but it's more likely to move us forward.